You can probably see behind me that the stage is still in place, and uh, at the moment, uh, priests are speaking on the stage. Uh, the role of uh, Ukrainian Orthodox priests uh, in this opposition movement has been very big from the beginning, uh, but the police and special forces did manage to take a large section of the square. Um, a lot of the tent city is now gone. Uh, the main headquarters of the opposition movement in the trades union building is still in the hands of the uh, opposition, and there um, you might be able to see behind me there are red helmets and black helmets facing off the black helmets of the special forces officers. Uh, the red helmets are uh, demonstrators who have uh, protected themselves with helmets. Uh, there's been a standoff there uh, for much of the night, but as uh, the last time uh, I, I checked, the uh, forces hadn't been able to uh, enter the trades union building. Also, the occupied Kiev uh, city hall, also occupied by demonstrators a little bit further down the road, is still occupied. Some of the barricades have been taken down, others haven't. Uh, the police clearly didn't want to use the extreme violence that we saw about 10 days ago. They just used a lot of, uh, a lot of force, but they weren't prepared to uh, really uh, hit people in the way that they did and cause injuries in the way that caused such outrage uh, 10 days ago. But we are hearing reports that there may be new units coming to, uh, uh, to relay the, 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 the units that are leaving now um, this morning. I think it's going to be very hard for the European Union not to see this as a slap in the face because Catherine Ashton, the High Representative for External Affairs, was here precisely in order to avoid this kind of scene. She was here to try and uh, start brokering a dialogue between President Yanukovych's government and the opposition. Well, clearly, uh, the government have tonight uh, told her what they think of that idea.